I think there was a combination of factors. We did we did graduate some players ahead of schedule, um, so we needed to replace those players. We had some. Um, we had a. I think overall we were disappointed with how the season went last year. So there was a combination of trying to insulate ourselves against uh, the injury trouble that we had last year, uh, as well as try and increase the competitiveness that we would have on a daily and, and weekly basis within our own dressing room. So we ended up, uh, as you say, the, we brought in more players than I think if you looked on paper at the start of last year, you would have thought we would have needed, but I think it addressed all those issues um, and so far through the month of September, um, it certainly appears that uh, it was the right decision. I think um, results aside, uh, we've been really happy with, with what we've seen from the team through the opening uh, four or five weeks here. I think the competition level on a daily basis has been uh, really, really good. It, it, we're probably ahead of the the curve with some of the incoming players than we thought we might be at the end of September. Now it's just trying to figure out how we translate what we see Monday to Thursday to success on Friday and Saturday. Well, uh, I think we started in the in the crease and we needed to replace Alex Fatino. So uh, Cole CC is a, a guy with a really good OHL background, great pedigree, came highly recommended and has come in and, and proven himself. Uh, to be a capable goaltender at, at this level already. Um, on the blue line, all the guys coming in have shown well, but I, I think Xavier Pouliot and, and Tyler Higgins were the guys that we had targeted the earliest. Uh, they bring a little bit of size and nastiness to the blue line, which we felt we were missing last year. Um, and then up front, I think uh, Brandon Yamans and Braden Buziak uh, and Brendan Brown were were kind of the, the guys we had targeted early and were fortunate enough to, to grab. Um, but all of the, as I say, all, all 17 guys that have come in have, have shown already that they belong here, that they're going to push for ice time, um, and not only amongst themselves, but also within uh, the returning core of players as well. So, but those would be the guys that were probably kind of at the top of the list in terms of um, who we had targeted earliest in the recruiting process. Well, I think we need to get back to the puck possession style of play that we uh, employed my first few years here on staff and, and had success with. I think last year we were a little bit too much up and down and uh, needed to generate off the rush. And when that didn't happen, then uh, we weren't really able to, to get prolonged offensive zone time. So we'd like to get back to that. We'd also like to be a little tougher to play against, especially in our own end. And I, and I hope that we've uh, addressed that as well. Ultimately, in our league, you have to be able to play with pace. You have to be able to move the puck well. Uh, you have to be disciplined defensively. So all those things are, are certainly keys that we've been focusing on through the training camp and heading into the start of the season. Max Shields, Scott Fazer, uh, those two guys, you know, they're, they're award winners in our league for a reason. They're um, arguably the, among the best at their position in the OUA uh, across both conferences. So those guys are, are certainly going to have to carry the load for us um, in net and uh, at center respectively. But then from there, you know, we need the leadership that Jack Gorenson brings. Uh, we need the experience that Peter DeCopy brings. We need, you know, Sal Felice and Justin Bean to make an take another step forward on the blue line. Um, and then some of our second year guys, Jeremy Lucini had a great camp. Um, so we're looking for those second year players to, to make a contribution this year as well. Uh, my expectations are every night's gonna probably be a battle. Um, a lot of one goal games in, in our league. Uh, we just wanna make sure that we're focused on the process. We put ourselves uh, in the best position to win every night and you know, Monday to Thursday, the players make my decision for Friday and Saturday extremely difficult.